my name is Tori. I'm the yoga instructor for Texas A&M Central Texas. And uh, we're continuing on our socially distanced yoga mindfulness practice. Um, today, still focusing on athletics in particular. So um, our postures and movements today will be ideal for those that are interested in or currently active in cycling. So let's go ahead and get started at the top of our mat. Feet strong beneath us. We can rock the body weight forward and back, whatever helps us kind of settle in and find our balance. Let's soften the knees, build up the spine, roll the shoulders back, and we have our mountain pose. So on our inhale, sweep the palms tall overhead. Maybe we'll even lean a little bit back, but we'll find our neutral spine. We'll exhale, dive into our forward fold. Okay, we'll try to keep the spine long as we dive down, and if that means we need to soften the knees to relax the hamstrings, to relax uh, we come into our forward fold. Let's see if we can rise up into our half lift. So we'll walk to the top of the shin bone, lift the heart parallel to the ground, and then exhale forward fold. Palms come to the mat, maybe about shoulder width apart, and then we'll take the feet back and lift the hips up to the sky. So we're finding our downward facing dog to get started. Hips to the sky, we push our heart back to the knees, whether the knees are soft or strong. We'll take a great big breath here. Maybe pedal out the knees to stretch one hamstring at a time, or try to lift up to the tiptoes for a moment, or even drop the heels heavy. All right, from our downward facing dog, we're gonna practice our half series flow. So that's gonna involve our upward facing dog or cobra. And in order to get there, we need to swing the heart forward over the wrist and lower the hips in line with the heels and the shoulders. And then we're going to chaturanga, we're going to push up all the way down to the ground. Keep the elbows tucked in close, palms right beneath our shoulders. Sorry, my dog's in the way. We'll untuck the toes. Is that all? <laughs> okay. We're going to inhale, peel up the heart a little bit off of the mat. Um, remind yourself that it's not about pushing off of the mat with the hands. It's about lifting up with the heart. So then we'll exhale to release, tuck the toes under, push the hips up. To the sky, push the heart back to the knees, and that's our down dog. So we come right back to where we started, but that's our flow. So let's see if we can try that four more times. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift up the heart. Exhale, release. Tuck the toes under. Inhale, push the hips up and back. Down dog. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, release. Inhale, rise up, exhale, tuck the toes under, push the hips up to the sky. One last time, let me get out of the way of my dog, sorry. All right, last time, swing the heart forward, slow release, lift the heart up a little, exhale, release, tuck the toes under, push the hips up and back. From our downward facing dog, let's drop the knees to the ground and we find our tabletop posture. Awesome, hands are beneath the shoulders, knees are beneath the hips. We're gonna shake out the wrists if we need to. We're gonna sway side to side if that helps, or lay down. We can take a break if we need to. Okay, settle down. All right, from our tabletop, let's see if we can make our way to our warrior one. So we're gonna tuck the toes under, sweep the hips up and back, down dog. We're gonna swing the right leg high behind us and step the right foot forward and through. Plant that heel right beneath the knee so that shin bone is straight. And then we'll rise up, slow and easy. Roll the shoulders back, open up that heart space. Take a big, confident breath here, okay? Really catch your breath. If that flow is a little hard for you, um, from down dog, down dog to up dog, that's okay, you're not alone, okay? Sweep the hands tall overhead and we have warrior one. We're gonna practice our warrior flow, which we've been doing recently, so we can do this. We're gonna turn the back toe to the long side of the mat, bringing the heel flat to the middle. We're gonna follow the hips open with the heart. Keep the knee safe, straight over that front ankle, palms to shoulder height, warrior two. Now we're gonna do our full warrior flow here. So we're gonna drop our back palm to the back thigh, sweep the front palm overhead, reverse warrior. Awesome. Big stretch across the rib cage and the abdominals here on our side. From here, we'll move back into warrior two. 
And we'll swing the back palm low, turning the heart and hips towards the top of the mat, and then the back toe to warrior one. And that's our flow. We're going to be practicing this over and over. So let's go ahead and exhale, turn the back toe, plant the heel, open the heart and hips. Okay, catch your breath. <laughs> exhale to reverse. Inhale, find warrior two. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Exhale to reverse. Okay, inhale. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Exhale to reverse. Inhale. And when you're ready, inhale, warrior one, warrior two, reverse, neutral, warrior one. Let's practice this one more time. Exhale to open the heart, plant the foot, exhale to reverse, find neutral. And when you're ready, turn all the way back to the top of the mat, warrior one. Exhale, palms meet the mat. Right foot meets the left foot, hips to the sky, heart towards the knees, and that's our down dog. We're gonna stay here. We're gonna challenge ourselves with five strong breaths, whether we choose to move a little bit or stay perfectly still. I don't like using the word perfect, but here we are, wherever we're comfortable. Ooh, just a few more breaths. We're going to try that on our opposite side too. Left leg rises up, step the left foot forward and through, knee safe over the ankle, settle into your balance and then rise with stability, with intention, with purpose. Good girl. All right, here we are. Not me, sorry, the dog. Anyway, keep the palms tall overhead. Warrior one, you got it. Let me rotate on my mat so you're not looking at the back of my head the whole time, okay? And we're gonna try that warrior flow again. So we're gonna exhale, turn the back heel, plant the foot, open up the heart and hips, front knee safe. Awesome, warrior two, exhale to reverse. Big stretch, this first one, we're gonna take a little extra time to find that stretch across the rib cage, the abdominals. <sighs> All right, inhale, warrior two. Exhale, oh, sorry, inhale, sweep the heart forward. Bring the back toe along when you're ready. Okay, exhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, warrior two. Inhale, warrior one. Awesome. Let's do this a couple more times. Exhale. And exhale. Inhale, and inhale, take your time. Okay, three more times, exhale, and exhale. Inhale, and inhale, growing up. Okay, exhale, and exhale, inhale, and inhale. Okay, once we've got warrior one, we're going to move into downward facing dog. Forward fold, palms meet the mat. <laughs> Let me turn around, sorry. Hands meet the mat, left foot meets the right, hips to the sky, down dog. Five strong breaths here as well. Okay, bear with me. Move if you need to. Or stay still. Bear with me. All right, and just like last time, uh, well, no, this time, let's bring the knees down strong. Let's find our tabletop so that hands and knees are beneath the shoulders. Spine is kind of level, parallel to the ground. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and shake out the wrists if we need to, maybe sway a little bit side to side if it helps. Okay, let's fold down into our child's pose, bringing the hips down to the heels, heart to the knees, and the forehead down to the ground. 
Maybe we prefer to have the arms way out long in front of us to stretch out the underarm, to stretch out the rib cage a little bit. Or maybe we wanna sweep the hands way back to where the feet are um, so that we can release tension in the shoulders um, and between the shoulder blades. Remember, gravity takes the elbows and shoulders heavy. <clears throat> maybe we don't like either of those and we wanna cross the arms beneath our forehead. We're gonna take two strong breaths. <sighs> All right, and we're going to practice our locust flow here. So let's reach the hands way out long. Let's go ahead and go from our child's pose. Let's pull the heart forward. Ooh, sorry, I have to readjust my knees when I do that. Down to the hands so that palms are right beneath our shoulders. Elbows are tucked in close. We're going to go ahead and step the hands back to uh, frame our hips back here. We're going to set the hands way back. Maybe palms face down or palms face up. Totally up to you. Now, it's like our baby cobra. We're going to pull up with the heart, and we're going to hold for a moment. Without the strength of our arms, we're just going to lift the heart. And then we're going to exhale and release. Okay? Now, this time we're going to try this with the legs alone. So instead of lifting the heart, zip the legs together, point the toes to the back of the room. Let's go ahead and try to lift up the toes. Rowena, thank you. Let's go ahead and try to lift up the toes, the heels, and the knees. And just hold, hold strong, you got it. Okay, locust feet. And then we're gonna release the legs back down. Let's try to lift the heart alone. Just the heart when we inhale. Strong breath, strong body. And release. Okay, let's try the legs alone again. So zip the legs together, point the toes. Inhale, lift the toes, the ankles, the knees. Hold strong. And gently release. All right, let's go ahead and combine the lifting of the heart and the legs at the same time. We're going to lift up with the chest, lift up with the toes. Maybe even the hands rise up with us. Maybe even the hands rise up with us. Strong breath. And let's release. Awesome. Let's cross the arms in front of the body so that we can rest the forehead onto the forearms here. And stretch out that space between the shoulder blades. Take a great couple of breaths here. And let's move into our child's pose. So let's set the hands beneath the shoulders and rise up to our tabletop. Once we get to our tabletop, we'll fold back, drop the hips, drop the heart, drop the forehead. Maybe the arms are out long. Maybe they're heavy. Maybe we're using them for a little bit of support. Okay, rounding the spine here, really taking the opportunity to appreciate the way that the breath expands in the back of the ribcage. <sighs> rounding the spine. Okay. And it's at this time that we can decide if we're going to do um, a few minutes of mindfulness at the end of our practice today. We want to stay in that child's pose, just tune out and listen to our music for a little while if we want to just be quiet for a couple of minutes. Um, traditionally, in a full yoga practice, you'll find five or ten minutes at the end is just set aside to remain still, to remain quiet, to just soak in the moment. Um, so it's up to you if you would like to do a mindfulness practice now. Um, if not, um, it is at the time at the end of this practice that I would like to thank you for choosing to share your time and your practice with me here today. And again, it is the light within me that honors and bows to the light within you. Namaste.